you have just a minute, I wanna share with you what I think might be the most important video you watch this whole year. Um, not to sound cocky, not to sound arrogant, but if I could go back in time, time machine, this is what I wish they had taught me in school. And just listen and you'll know immediately what I'm talking about and I bet you'll say the same thing. Why didn't they teach this in school? Basically the last 10, even more than 10 years of my life, I've been trying to research, study, and experiment on the reason why 99% of the world struggles financially and 1% of the world has most of the money. In fact, they say now the top 10 people in the world, the 10 wealthiest people in the world have more money than the bottom two or three billion combined. It's one of the most unfair things in history. And you know what? If you read a lot, the rich are getting richer. Now, I was forced to learn this because growing up in high school, I went to public school, private school, a little bit even homeschool. I didn't go to college, I'm a college dropout. But nowhere did I see them teaching this stuff. So I went out and I found these mentors and it, in the next few minutes I wanna share with you, I wanna pull back the curtain and just save you like 10 years. If you've ever struggled financially or if right now you're under extreme financial pressure, listen to this. Um, I was forced to learn this the hard way because I was born to a single mom. My dad was in prison when I was born. I was born in Long Beach, California. Uh, I spent my teenage years in a mobile home. And now if you've seen my videos, you've seen that I've been able to transform my life. Let me take you through the series of events that happened that allowed that to happen because most people, let's face the bad news. The average person that's born broke stays broke. And statistics back that up. The average person who's born middle class stays with a middle class income. Your parents' income is the biggest predictor of your future income. If you wanna break out of that tyranny, the tyranny of your birth, the tyranny of societal classes, the tyranny of not being financially independent, the tyranny of being broke, and every time it's the first of the month and rent is due, you're scrambling and freaked out, let me share with you what I uncovered. And I've been sharing this with people, but never in this way before. I believe almost every person, especially if you're fortunate enough to live in, you know, first world country, um, United States, Europe, things like that where there's a more free society and more wealth, I believe almost everybody can double their income, double their income. And quicker than you think. Again, not overnight, but it doesn't have to take 20 years. The average person in the United States get a pay, gets a pay raise between 1% and 3%. It, per year. That means every 20 years they double their income. Actually more like 22, 23. That's too long. That's too long. Bill, uh, Steve Jobs used to say, I don't want to be the richest man in the graveyard. You don't want to take so long to make money that you're so old you can't use it. Now I live in Beverly Hills and I see sometimes I go down, grab some food in Beverly Hills and there's Ferraris. In fact, more Ferraris per capita than I think almost anywhere in the world in Beverly Hills, but the guys getting out of the Ferraris are like 90 years old. They got like a walker to get out. You don't want to have a Ferrari and a walker at the same time. No offense to people with walkers. It just doesn't make sense. You want to be young enough to enjoy it. So you have to learn to accelerate stuff. You got to learn to accelerate stuff. Um, took a little notes. Usually I don't have any notes when I record a video, but this is so important. Like I, I made a big promise at the beginning. I said this may be the most important video you see this year. Um, first thing I wanna say, number one, when I began to study both, I had five millionaire mentors uh, over a series of years. Okay, I dropped out of college, had no money, was sleeping on a couch, mobile, back to the mobile home again. Um, no college degree, no future, didn't have a car, didn't even have a suit to interview for a job, no qualifications for a regular mainstream job. I, I spent seven years on a farm, so I only had farm qualifications. I'm at the end of my rope. And then I said, wait a second, I'm gonna start researching because there are a few people, the one out of a hundred people that pull themselves out of it, what did they do different? You gotta study people that they call outliers. You can't just study the, the masses. The masses has always been wrong. The masses were, you know, look at science, gravity, Sir Isaac Newton, or 
Leonardo da Vinci, or people that were ahead of their time, Martin Luther King Jr., Gandhi. These people are criticized, scorned, oftentimes murdered by the masses. The masses are almost always wrong. So I said, forget the masses. I'm going to look at the one in a million or the one in a hundred that pulls it off. And the first thing that I learned, write this down if you're taking notes. I suggest you take notes. The first thing is that they catch trends. They catch trends. My second mentor, Alan Nation, who just died recently, rest in peace. He changed my life. Um, he was my first mentor, Joel Salatin's mentor. So it was mentor introduced me to his mentor, put me on an accelerated path. And first thing he told me, he said, Ty, if you say an idea of yours and your next door neighbor likes it, it's too late. It's too late to make money with that. Once it's accepted by the masses, it's no longer a new trend. And the only people making money from it are the people who got in early. You got to learn to get in early. If you're cynical, if you're stubborn, if you're slow, if you're set in your ways, if you're non-adaptable, you're going to have a hard time doubling your income. You're going to have a hard time ever achieving real financial freedom. You're going to be a slave to the system. You're going to be a slave to the nine to five. Even if you try to start your own business, I'm fortunate enough now, you know, I have about 20 street different streams of income from multiple businesses that I own, that I've founded or that I've purchased. And, uh, you know, now I remember, I remember at one point in my life going, I wonder if I can ever make a thousand dollars a month from a non nine to five job. Then I figure out how to make a thousand bucks a month. I remember making six figures, 10 grand a month and going, man, I'm making more money than anyone in my family's made, you know, for the last 50 years. Maybe longer. My dad's from Harlem. His dad, my grandfather worked in a subway, didn't have money. You know, you don't work in a subway if you got a lot of money. And he was a mechanic. No offense to being a mechanic at subway, I'm just saying. He was living paycheck to paycheck. And so as I, I go through this and I start thinking, like, what did Steve Jobs do? Of course, Alan Nation was right. Steve Jobs presented the idea of the personal computer to, I think it was Stanford, all these Ivy League professors who were so smart, they laughed at him. But you know what? Guess who laughed all the way to the bank? Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk. You see, you have to have thick skin that allows you to catch new trends, that allows you to see what most people don't see. So you need to be, you know, I'll give you a practical bit of advice. You should be checking Google Trends every day. It's a free uh, service by Google. You literally just Google the phrase, Google Trends. Go look what's trending around the world. Red Bull, the energy drink formed by, uh, I think, an Austrian guy who's now one of the richest people in the world. You know what he did? He traveled the world. He caught trends in Asia. They had this sugary drink that was successful there. He brought it to Europe. Boom. Caught a trend. And then he put in the effort. There's some other things you have to do, but I'm just... I'm rolling back, I'm revealing the secrets one by one. Write down, trend catcher, Nike. There's a great new book out called Shoe Dog. Um, Phil Knight, the founder of Nike, he was struggling financially. Then he started seeing trends in Japan and he started buying shoes there. And he brought that trend in Japan into the United States. What's a bigger brand than Nike when it comes to shoes? Catch trends. What'll keep you from catching trends? Bad mental habits, number two. Fix your bad mental habits. What they don't teach you in school is anything about habits. Yes, they make you memorize uh, geography and what the capital of Montana is and the capital of Romania, but that doesn't translate into anything of practical value besides being good at geometry, may, uh, geography maybe, which you could just Google nowadays. It's outdated way of learning. What would help you is the proper mental habits. And one of those ma mental habits, what do the masses do when they see something new? They're always skeptical. I saw that, I put out a video where I started sharing stuff in 2015. It's been viewed about three, 400 million times, this set of videos I released. Most people were skeptical. Oh, ties, oh, ties, what is this? Is this a big scam? But a handful of people got it. One out of a hundred. And I don't like to say this because all the advertising compliance, but there's a stack of people who have become millionaires from those techniques. A stack of people have become uh, you know, gone from zero to six figures. A lot. More, I don't even like to say the number because then now with the FTC, you have to verify every single one. What I'm saying is 
oh, it works, but most people don't believe it and that's good for you. Because the second everybody does it, it's too hard to make money. Uber caught a trend early. Why didn't you and I catch the Netflix idea trend before? Like your parents, you, could have started Netflix. It's not a complicated business. You just deliver. At first they just put DVDs in the mail and mailed them to people. Why did the founder of Netflix make so much money? He makes a billion dollars a month with his company now. Imagine having that $30 million deposited daily into your business bank account. You think he's struggling financially? He didn't grow up rich. He didn't inherit money. But what he did is he caught a trend. He had vision and he had good mental habits so that when the fear came in and the discouragement came in and the, the self-doubt, the cynicism, he knew how to shut it down quick. That's what I mean by mental habits. You should train for that. Just like, you know, in school, remember they make you train, you gotta climb up the rope in PE, you gotta shoot a little basketball, they make you train with nine times nine is 81 and six times six is 36, all this training. What about the financial and mental training? What about the habit training to have the millionaire mindset? Nothing. Welcome to the modern school system. That's why I made this video. Now, I can go on and on. I just gave you number one. I gave you number two. It's the mental habits. But here's number three. And this is the killer. And you've heard this before, possibly. But it's not what you hear. It's what you do. Talk is cheap. Action is what matters. People, nah, 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 talk. Oh, boy, I'm going to start to do And I hear it every day. I got 13 million social media followers. I get thousands of DMs. Oh, Ty, you're going to hear from me. I'm going to do the next video. Blah, 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 blah. Usually, the more people talk, the less they do. Not always. Sometimes people talk and do. Uh, but a lot of times, people use talking as an excuse to procrastinate more and more and more. And here's the thing. Here's number three. I'm giving you three things. Number three, when I begin to study the outliers, the small group of people who rise above and begin doubling and tripling and quadrupling and 10xing and 100xing their income, and their income of their father and mother baby before was this principle called osmosis. Or a simpler way to think of it, the sponge. Whatever you are around, will affect you, okay? Somebody once said, you will, be, you will make the average income of the five people you spend the most time around. I kind of like that. I'm not sure exactly that it's five or four or three, but let me put it to you this way. I got a better saying. I think it's better. You wanna make a million dollars? Hang out with people for a few years, at least one year, who if they made a million dollars, they'd be embarrassed, sad, and depressed. You gotta hang out with people. You wanna make a million bucks? You gotta hang out with people who are like a million bucks. That's chump change, that's nothing. I made 10 million last year, at least 10, 20, 30 times. What's your goal is you wanna make $100,000 a year? What's 30 times that three million? Hang out with somebody who if they made 100,000, they'd have a heart attack. You know, now my businesses make at least $100,000 a day, sometimes more. I remember the first time I made a million dollars in an hour. And I thought, man, my mom, single mom, worked so hard, two jobs. She never made more than 20,000 in a year. And I just made this in a minute, I made 20,000, even less. Now, I don't do that every hour. I wish I made a million bucks an hour. Um, but I've done it, I um, made a million bucks in a day. I remember the first time I did that. And it came when I changed who I listened to, who I watched, who I associated with, who I befriended who I dated, who I looked up to, who I idolized, who I let mentor me, who I let teach me. That's the problem with the school system. There's a lot of good things you can learn in college. I'm not anti-college, but would you wanna learn to play basketball from a fat college professor teaching out of a textbook? No. Most coaches, the best coaches in the sport almost always played the game. Bill Jackson, Coach Michael Jordan, he coached Kobe Bryant in basketball. Guess what? Former player. He won two championship rings as a player before he could teach. Most people that taught you about money, they never did it themselves. And no wonder you're lost. No wonder the game doesn't make sense. No wonder the rich get richer because the rich teach their kids. They have, they're born with a mentor. 
most wealth, the reason wealth stays with the wealthy, there's multiple reasons. I'm not going to oversimplify it. Part of it is it takes money to make money to a certain extent, but not always. All the people on the top of the Forbes list didn't start out with money. So that's not a very accurate assessment. I would say that, you know, wealthy people pass things on to their kids. And the kids go a little further. And that happened over and over. You can look at some of the wealthiest people in the world. Look at the Waltons. You know, look at the Waltons. One of the wealthiest families, top of the 10 in the Forbes list. Their dad was Sam Walton who started Walmart. They not only inherited it, but they also, he taught them. You gotta be taught. And you gotta be taught by people who did it. And here's the crazy thing. You don't even have to spend 10 hours a day with them, eight hours a day. How long do people spend in school? Six, seven, eight hours? You don't even need that long. In fact, I'll challenge you to this. I'll challenge you to this. After now reaching over 100 million people with videos like this, social media about my life, and people actually seeing it, People going from skeptics to now going, oh, maybe Ty has something to say. And, and this is a video is not about me. I, I don't, honestly, remember I told you you got to have thick skin. But I'd like to help as many people as I can. I bet you this. You give me five minutes. Five minutes. With you. Now, this is not going to happen because I'm not going to fly around you know, people one by one and do this. But hypothetically, if you could spend five minutes a day with a millionaire or five minutes a day with a billionaire consistently I bet you you'd begin to see a change in under a month possibly a week now I'm not saying you'd be rich that that's not what I mean it's like a boat your life's like a boat right you're going in one direction the most people going on the way to be broke to be salary slave to have a job they hate you can swing that boat in under 28 days that's four weeks seven days a week seven times four those math the little math drills are coming in handy now. 28 days, but five minutes a day. Why'd I pick five? Easy. The average person, attention span. I just read an article. The average attention span of like a goldfish or something is six minutes, and humans now is under five minutes. So you don't have much time. I know you're busy and you're getting bombarded and you got things to do. But hypothetically, if there was a time machine and I could go back and teach my 19 year, you know, 18 year old self graduated high school, I'm like, man, five minutes a day for 28 days, and then that'll get them like a white belt in making money. Like in karate, you get like a white belt for it. Give me another 28 days. As long as they showed up five, as long as my younger version of myself showed up for 28 days straight, I'm like, I bet you I could give them a yellow belt. And after that, another 28 days, I could give them a blue belt. And after that, and I bet you in one year, I make them a black belt in five minutes a day. People go to college for four years for an undergrad degree in art history or, you know, whatever. Some, I met somebody who got an Egyptology degree. No offense, I actually like history, but I'm going, you really want to spend four years of your life and 100,000 bucks in debt for that? Like you could just go to Egypt. <laughs> you could spend, get a job in Egypt near the pyramids like as a waiter or something. You'll learn the language. You'll learn the culture. You'll be around them. Osmosis. Be a sponge. Absorb what you want to learn. So even if you want to learn, these principles, by the way, aren't just for money. But even if you want to learn money, uh, non-something, non-money history, go, go be around it. You want to learn how Elon Musk built... Tesla to be a bigger company than Ford in under 10 years? Easy. Spend five minutes a day with Elon Musk for a year. Or you could have done with Steve Jobs. A lot of these great people are dead now. It's a sad thing. So that five minute challenge, 28 days, you give me 28 days. Somebody said, Ty, how much do you believe this? And I'm like, I bet money on it. I bet money on it. And they go, oh, really? How much? I'm like, ah, pretty much whatever amount of money somebody want to put down within reason. Now, I wouldn't do a million dollars because somebody would sabotage it just to win the bet. But I'm like, I'll put a, whatever. No, you want to do a thousand? You want to do a hundred? As long as the person showed up for five minutes a day and actually put their heart into it and tried and didn't just try to win the bet, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to win that bet nine times out of ten. It won't take much to change your life. I got good news and bad news in this video. The bad news is if you don't make a massive change, you're going to be stuck where you are longer than you think. A heck of a lot longer. Way longer. You know, people think life gets better as you get older. It gets worse. If you're fat at 15, 
You can be really struggling with weight at 30. It's harder at 30. Your metabolism slows down. It's harder at 50. It's harder at 80. If you're broke growing up in childhood, the odds are against you. Or if your family's middle class and you don't want to be stuck in that grind you saw your parents or parent, like I had single parent, the odds are against you. And be careful when you say, oh, I'll just beat the odds naturally. You never beat the odds naturally. You only beat the odds by effort. The odds are against you, they're gonna win. Go to, if you don't believe me, take a million bucks to Vegas. Bet against the house, go play roulette. See how well that works out for you because the odds are against you. Go, go buy a million lottery tickets with a million bucks. See how much money you end up. The odds are against you. So that's not a good way. That's a horrible way. The best way is, yeah, like I said, get around somebody. Find somebody local, a mentor. Here's the hard part. Most good mentors don't want to do it. Part of the reason I do it, people say, well, why do you do it, Tom? I'm like, simple. I've always enjoyed passing on what I learned. And when I was young, I remember being broke on that couch. And I, I made a promise to God. I said, if this works for me, I'll share with other people what worked for me. And I've done that. And I've done it for free and I've done it for pay. Um, like I said, I, will, I think on YouTube, I'm at 1.5... 1.6 billion minutes of free video training watched. But I like to make paid groups too because paid groups, let's face it, when people pay for it, they pay more attention to, they buy in. If I actually spend my own money, it's a signal that I'm in. So, yeah. Remember those three things. Catch trends. Number two, mental habits. Don't be a cynic. Don't be a skeptic. Do not be slow. Do not be sensitive. Do not be proud and set in your ways. Don't succumb to what's called the sunk cost fallacy, meaning, well, I'm already in this job I hate. I might as well spend the next 20 years doing it. It's too hard to turn. The momentum's too much against me. No. Be adaptive. Like Bruce Lee said, be like water. The water adapts to the cup. If it's in a glass, it fills the glass. If it's in a small mug, it fills the mug. He said, be like water. Charles Darwin and scientists say something a little different. They say it's not the strongest or the smartest who, who survive. It's the most adaptable to the environment in which they find themselves. To be great in life doesn't take strength anymore, especially not to be wealthy. Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, wealthiest people in the world, they're a little, they don't have muscle. <laughs> no offense to them if they're watching, but you wouldn't call them strong people. But their bank account's strong. It's better to bench a little less and have more in the bank than just be able to bench 500 pounds, be all roided out and you know, be broke. It's great if you can pull off health and wealth, but I'm saying most people are out of whack. So that's what I want to say. There's a lot more I can answer. You know, I, I, I have never really presented this publicly, but when I've mentioned it, I get a few questions. The number one is how do you find somebody that will do this five minutes a day for 28 days and get you your white belt. It's not a real white belt, but it's just like, boom. And I said, well, first of all, let's think about what you need to learn. Maybe I'll do it, I told him. That's part of why I'm recording this video. After three years, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do it. You want in? I'm gonna keep this video up for a little while. Let's see who wants in. Just to prove to myself, because I'm half skeptical, which I don't want to be, but face it, I'm a realist a little bit, but I remember what my mentor said about good mental habits. Be an optimist. I'm going to be an optimist. One out of a thousand people watching this video will buy in and say, all right, Ty, what are you going to teach me? Well, number one, what's the white belt in money? How to invest your money, how to make it work for you, how to create multiple flows of income, what are good ones, what are trends nobody's seeing. Those are good ones. How to get paying customers. How to find more mentors. How to get people to put capital in your business so you can start with zero dollars. How to fix your credit and get it up to seven, eight hundred. Even if you're just starting out with credit. That's important. How to invest in real estate. That's important. How to optimize your website. Optimize Facebook, YouTube, Google, Snapchat. How to build your social media brand. Two most important properties you own in the modern world are not real estate anymore. Even though real estate is important. But the two most important, think of Jeff Bezos. Website. You got to understand websites. Number two, social media brand. Youngest billionaire yet, self-made, Kylie Jenner, just from Snapchat and Instagram stories. Took her about 18 months. That's the power of the second property. I'm going to teach you about that. 
Oh, I got a lot of stuff I can teach you. I can teach you how to sell, do sales and close deals. Like I said, close a million bucks in an hour, not just one deal either, multiple ones. Not just like one person giving me a million bucks one time, but how to get thousands of people to become paying clients. Millions is better. I built a company, Mentor Box. Me and Alex built it uh, in 2016. It became a seven figure run rate business the first week. How'd I do that? Well, you gotta understand email marketing. You have to understand the 25 cognitive bias. Give me 28 days. Give me 28 days for a month. If you wanna stay longer than that, go for it. You put some money down, and if after that 28 days, I didn't live up to my end of the deal, I'm gonna shoot you a video. I'm gonna pre-record all these videos. In fact, when I'm done with this one, I'm, gonna, I'm starting to pre-record them. I got the whole list what I'm gonna record. Five minutes at a time. If you're too lazy to not give me five minutes a day, there is no hope for you. That's like someone going, oh, I wanna get in shape. Okay, you gotta come to the gym five minutes a day. Oh, uh, no, that's too long. I can't find time in my day. Well, forget you. Bring in the serious people. You wanna make money? Be serious. It's a little bonus point. I gave you the first three. Be serious. It's good. I love to joke. I go to comedy. I have friends. That we're, we laugh. But you got to know when to be serious. Money's something to be serious about. Everybody wants money. It ain't going to just come to you. Be serious. So you give me five minutes a day for 28 days. That's four weeks, seven days a week. No days off for 28 days. I mean, five minutes. Not that hard. I'll send you a text or an email. You click on your phone. You watch that video, and I'll give you a little 30-second assignment to do at the end of each one. Not like homework, but just to lock it in your brain. Scientists have shown that if you actually do something after you learn something, you retain it about 50% better. So just a little thing. So it's like five minutes and 30 seconds a day. That gets you your white belt. And that white belt puts you on track to double your income. I don't care if you're watching this and you're already making $100,000 you know, a month even, or a year. That's nothing, that's chump change. I remember that one of the wealthiest, well, probably the wealthiest person I ever had dinner with was Steve Ballmer. The man had $32 billion. That's his net worth. He bought the Clippers. I'm sitting there at dinner, just me and him talking for an hour. And he started asking about my business. And I'm like, he goes, oh, so how much are your business making? And I remember thinking, I'd be embarrassed to tell him. I mean, if I say $50 million, this guy's not going to be impressed. $50 million is nothing. And then I thought to myself, Ty, good job. You did what your second mentor did, told you. Get around people that would be embarrassed to make your income. That make in unfathomably more money than you do. And that's when you get the growth. You want to get muscles? Lift weights that are hard. That put a little strain and stress. If you're always around people getting advice, I mean, most people get advice. You know what most people's advice for money? People saying, oh... Well, just be happy with what you have and it'll work out and get a job, get a college degree. That worked in the 50s, it doesn't work. That's the advice most parents are giving. You get your degree, you put your head down, things are gonna work out for you. Yeah, in 1950, mom, dad, thanks for the advice from uh, 50 years ago. Thanks for the updated advice, mom, dad. They mean well, but they don't know what they're talking about. Do not listen to anybody. I don't care if they're your mom, dad, Grandma, grandpa, best friend, if they don't have a track record, only go by track record. I only go by track record. If you got a track record, oh, I got somebody here. I'm actually in New York right now. Can you come back in five minutes? <laughs> five minutes. Oh, I gotta go. I actually gotta go out in Manhattan. They're coming to clean this suite I have. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put a link, I'm gonna put a link up here in the corner, one of these corners below somewhere, description below, maybe a pop up. You want me to train you for five minutes a day, next 28 days? I'll give you a little honorary white belt at then, but forget all the pieces of paper and all that. I'll email you something that says you're a white belt. It's more of just a point of recognition, knowing where you are, because you should try to get your yellow belt and then your blue belt then your purple belt, then your brown belt, and then your black belt, then you can get a black and red and a red belt. You should just go. You should go for a year, five minutes a day. You want to meet me halfway, I'll do it. 
I'm gonna charge you a little money, but not much. In fact, click the link, you'll see. For some of you, I'm gonna give a little, you can try it free for a few days. That way, if you don't like it, if you think it was all hot air, all the time, just making stuff up, you can just cancel. You got whatever the first three lessons sent to you, and um, you got them free. Five minutes a day times three days, 15 minutes. Give me 15 minutes, and we'll see if I know what I'm talking about. I remember making $1,000 a month. Then I remember making $1,000 a day. Then I remember how to make 1000 bucks an hour. I remember making $100,000 a year, then $100,000 a month, then I remember making $100,000 a week, then I'm making $100,000 a day, then I remember times making $100,000 an hour, and once I made about $100,000 in about a few minutes, but more than once I've done that. It's a cool feeling to continue to go from white belt to black belt. I'm not even saying I'm a black belt. Who knows, maybe Warren Buffett, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, maybe they're the black belts. Maybe I'm a brown belt. But you can still learn a lot. And I will tell you this, if you convince Jeff Bezos to stop working on Amazon and train you five minutes a day, you should definitely not do it for me. But I'm assuming he ain't doing that anytime soon. So you're stuck with me, maybe. <laughs> or you can just go on and keep doing what you're doing. Like Einstein said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. That's most people financial. Oh, Ty, it's going to work out. I'm going to do the same thing over and over, harder and harder, work harder, get two, three jobs, and then it's going to work out. No, it's not. You can be grinding till the day, uh, the day you die, and you're going to curse your kids with that mentality too. Try something new. Click the link. Click the link in the corner. Click the link down below. Give me five minutes a day. It's 28 days. And I'll give you three days. You can try it for free. And then you got to pay a little money. Not much. Not much. I'm not going to charge a lot. I don't care about the money, but I care about having a group of people. I'm not going to waste my time with people that won't buy in with a little bit of money. People spend 200 bucks for a pair of jeans, 200 bucks for sushi. This is all temporary stuff. How about creating lifelong income streams? That's what I care about financially. Give me those multiple streams of income that last. That every day I have to do a little less work. That sustain themselves. That aren't a treadmill. That aren't a 9 to 5 grind job. Click the link, there'll be all the details on the next page. If that link says it's closed, put in your email for the wait list. I'm gonna cap it off, I'm not gonna do this for everybody, but you can go on the waiting list, I'll open it up you know, next year or something, maybe. So, welcome to the test group. All I ask is if it works for you, nothing I ask for, you don't have to give me a percentage of your income that's gone up, nothing, all I want Send an email to Ty Ty Lopez with a true, non-exaggerated testimonial. I don't care if it's you making an extra hundred bucks a month, extra thousand, extra ten thousand. Just did you make progress? Is it significant? Do you see the light at the end of the tunnel? Send me that. That's all I ask. Okay. Hundred percent money back guarantee. If you go past the three days and it still doesn't work, I'll send you your money back. It's not me trying to get your money. Anybody who doesn't want their money back will send it back. Okay? Putting that money down shows you bought in. It's another mental habit. All right, let's get started. Talk to you soon.